Hudson Yards, Manhattan West, which you're working on, um, millions and millions of square feet of uh, new office space available. Is there a danger that there will be an oversupply? I don't think there's real risk of oversupply on the west side. At the end of the day, we've seen about 7 million square feet of total commitment thus far, largely driven by demand. And it's been through a broad range of industry bases. We we're talking about the TAMI sector, the financial service sector, the legal sector. The commitments that have been made, I think, are based on the fact that this product is necessary. As you know, um, Brookfield is building a residential tower. More than 800 units will be a component part of that. Uh, we envision a fitness center, we see destination retail, we see scaled uh, sort of marketplace driven uh, retail concept. And we also see potentially, Brookfield will make the ultimate decision for a boutique type of hotel as part and parcel of this 24-7 live, work, play community servicing the population of tenancy. When Associated Press left uh, Manhattan West, they vacated 252,000 square feet of uh, property there. How are you guys marketing that property? First and foremost, um, AP is leaving to go to another Brookfield building downtown. That's a good thing for the organization. Secondly, we think it's probably the most attractive space that will hit the marketplace with more than a $300 million plus renovation having taken place in the building. All will be complete by Q217. Can you discuss a little bit about um, RxR's renovation of 75 Rockefeller? The concept behind RxR's acquisition of 75 Rock to, was to build a brand new building in one of the most traditionally exciting, vibrant Plaza District neighborhoods. This will be the equivalent of a new building, a new development with all the new infrastructure. Um, high ceiling heights, um, brand new, HVAC capability, and at the end of the day, sitting in Rockefeller Center will be, from the outside in, a brand new product. Tell us a little bit about your work with Intrepid. One of the, the things I have always been impassioned by is the Intrepid Museum and what it stands for. It stands for, at the end of the day, recognizing that freedom is not for free, that our future must come from a well-educated, um, workforce and young people who understand that those who make the ultimate sacrifice who go before us lay the foundation for where they will go in the future. So the Intrepid represents all those things. Bruce, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure speaking to you.